For today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shit Game Plays. I'm Fabio Pisco and today we actually have the second video of today. So I recorded some hours ago the video about uh, the AMDs, the LSS. Um, basically uh, super resolution, so Fidelity FX super resolution, FSR, and now I'm talking about the um, 3D, um, 3D stack, so 3D cache, uh, which is an improvement from the, from the traditional cache system, okay? So for that we're gonna watch a bit of the AMD at Computex 2021, um, so Let's watch a bit of it, so I will be commenting at the same time. All right! Is this a suit? Was that great or what? Doctor, <laughs> this is Scott, thank you. You know, it's really exciting to see the Radeon 6000 mobile GPUs and our new FSR technology in action. And Frank, thanks for showing us the power of bringing all of AMD's technologies together. Yeah, that's the Zen AMD's 3, RDMA2, advantage. And AMD software we to really AMD create smart the best gaming smart experience. access memory and so on, so on, so on. Now you guys know at AMD, we're always thinking about what's next. Let's close by looking at some of our advanced technologies. Advanced technology is a key foundation of our product leadership. And that means putting the best process technology together with the best packaging technology. So as you can see here, for example, they have the processes, over 30 products in 7 nanometers, TSMC, okay? Um, and they have the roadmap, they have the roadmap to 5 nanometers, and we had the packaging before with the HBM, which is presented, which is the VRAM presented on the Vega cards, okay? And they had like 2.5D, let's say it's, they call it 2.5D, and now they have 3D, okay? Now, we were early adopters of industry-leading 7 nanometer manufacturing technology from TSMC, and by now, we've delivered more than 30 products in 7 nanometer across all of our markets. And our roadmap to 5 nanometer technology is right on track, including our first Zen 4 products that will be available next year. We were also the leader... So, uh, Lisa Sue is actually telling us that the, the Zen 4 CPUs in 5 nanometers TSMC Will, will be available next year, so over six months of waiting. In those six months, they can release lots of things, and that's where the 3D stacking actually comes in, which is really interesting. There's an advanced packaging technology. Our investments in innovation and packaging have been a multi-year, multi-technology journey. In 2015, AMD introduced high bandwidth memory, or HBM, and silicon interposer technology to the GPU market which led the industry for memory bandwidth in a small form factor. We then set a new performance trajectory for compute in the data center and PC markets in 2017 when we introduced high volume multi-chip module packaging. And in 2019, we introduced chiplets using different process nodes for the CPU cores and the IO in the same package which enabled significantly higher performance and capabilities. So as you can see here, the 2.5 uh, the 2.5D HBM it's on the Vega cards, okay? The multi-chip module is when the, they release the first Ryzen series, okay? So the Ryzen 1000 and 2000 are like this, okay? And on the chiplets is to is from Zen 2 and, um, and over. So, <laughs> damn, I'm so slow. So Zen 2 and over, Zen 2 and Zen, and Zen 3. So basically the Ryzen 3000 series, 4000 series G, the OEM ones, the APUs, and even the 5000 are like this, okay? Chiplets. Now today, I'd like to show you the next big step forward. We've worked closely over the last few years with TSMC on their 3D fabric technology to combine chiplet packaging with die stacking to create a 3D chiplet architecture for future high performance computing products. Now let me show you a little bit about how our 3D chip stacking technology works. The first application of this technology will be to enable a 3D vertical cache. 
In this prototype, we're taking our leadership Ryzen 5000 series processor and stacking a 64 megabyte, seven nanometer SRAM directly on top of each core complex, effectively tripling the amount of high-speed L3 cache feeding our Zen 3 cores. The 3D cache is bonded directly to the Zen 3 CCD with through silicon vias passing signals and power between the stacked chips, supporting more than two terabytes per second of bandwidth. Through the manufacturing process, we thin the 3D cache die and add structural silicon to create a seamless surface for the combined chip. The finished 3D stacked version of the CPU actually looks exactly the same as the current Ryzen 5000 processors. So now let me show you what that So basically they will look the same, but the, sorry. But since they have 3D stacking, they, act, they actually have height stacking. So instead of having just one layer, they have they can have more layers okay that's how it works um and as you see they have like copper co uh, copper design to actually facilitate things and so on that looks like it's complex it's complex but it works so this is a prototype ryzen 5900x processor with the 3d chiplet technology We've actually removed the lid from this package and exposed the left CCD so you can see one of the six millimeter by six millimeter square SRAMs hybrid bonded to the CCD. So as you can see here, you can see that this, or at least it seems that the height is higher on this one, hence the 3D stacking, okay? So this one is normal and this one is higher and they are like bonded. Instead of being separated, they are bonded. So they are merged, so quite different. In an actual device, an individual SRAM is bonded to each CCD, so you get 96 megabytes of cache per CCD, or 192 megabytes total for a 12 or 16 core Ryzen processor in a single package. Damn. So we have almost 200, we can have almost 200 megabytes of L3 cache. 200 megabytes in like, in like 2017, we're having like 16 megabytes L3 cache, and that was already much because Intel had even less. So from 2017 to 2021, we go from like 16 megabytes L3 cache to like 200 with the 3D stacking. Incredible. We had a, a massive increase on the Zen 2 from like 16 to 32 or even more, but 200 is another level. <laughs> Bite me. So now let me give you a little bit more detail about the technology itself. We're using a hybrid bond approach with through silicon vias that provides over 200 times the interconnect density of 2D chiplets and more than 15 times the density compared to other 3D stacking solutions. This actually enables a much more efficient and denser integration of our IP. The die-to-die -die interface is using a direct copper-to-copper -copper bond with no solder bumps of any kind. Oh, direct this copper to copper, okay. This approach dramatically improves the thermals, the transistor density, and the interconnect pitch, and has only one-third the energy per signal of micro-bump 3D approaches. That's a lot because, I mean, uh, one of the things that that um, were kind of were kind of a letdown on Ryzen 3000 and in some Ryzen 5000 CPUs. Uh, are actually the temperatures. R Ryzen 5000 overall improved it a bit, uh, at least with the spikes, the temperature spikes, but they are still, um, there's, there's still a thing about the temperatures and this may improve at least in terms of CCX and cores because they have copper to copper and they have less power draw, th uh, up to three times less power All draw. of these things make this truly the most advanced and flexible active on active silicon stacking technology in the world. Happy applause for you also. This is breakthrough. Now let's see this in action. Larger caches are important in many workloads, but PC gaming is a workload all of us know well. Let's take a look at a demo using Gears 5. On the left side is a Ryzen 9 5900X, which is today's fastest gaming CPU. On the right side is a 3D triplet prototype based on the 5900X with the new 3D vCache technology. Both CPUs have the same core count and thread count and are fixed at four gigahertz clock speed. Frankly, the gaming performance of both processors is extremely good, but the 3D triplet prototype improves performance by 12% on average. 
this is actually just phenomenal and the impact of 3D triplets on a real workload. So that's that's pretty nice. So we're talking about the 3D chiplets only. So we're talking about only um, the type of chiplets and the amount of cash. That alone improved 12% here in the in the Gears benchmark. The same exact CPU, the same architecture, the same core count, everything is the same, the same fixed frequency of 4 gigahertz, okay? And we still have a difference of 12% only for the 3D cache, okay? That's a lot. In fact, when you look across many of today's games, they have intense demands for the PC. And you can stuff. see even more, for example, here on, most, on Monster Hunter, uh, using DirectX 11, you have up to 25%, up to 25% performance. That's a lot. Dota 2 has 18% and Fortnite has 17%. So if you are one of those people that plays at higher, uh, at high FPS numbers, this is what you want. This is the future. 3D stack. And they get much faster when you bring lots of memory close to the processor. If you look across a number of popular game titles with this Vcache technology, we're seeing an average improvement of 15% at 1080p. Now just think about that. That's 15%, which is an entire architectural generation's worth of gaming performance just exactly. from the 3D Vcache technology. I'm excited we got to give you a preview of our 3D triplet technology exactly. today. Exactly. That exactly what you said. Basically, it's it's um, a generation worth perform in terms of performance upgrade just by the 3D stacking of the cache. So more cache with 3D stacking and we have 15% performance on average. So in some scenarios we have up to 25%, which is insane. We've actually made now great imagine progress Zen 4 on the overall with this. development of this technology, and we'll be ready to start production on our highest end products with 3D triplets by the end of this year. <laughs> it's been great fun today, and we've covered a lot of ground here, so let me just wrap up. The first gaming notebooks powered by the new Radeon 6000M. So we have more here, the 6000M series, and so on, so on, so on. So basically, um, my opinion of this all, this is a big improvement and something that I was actually expecting, expecting for quite some time. So basically, we have lots and lots of cache doing this. We have less power draw, less temperatures, more cache, more performance, in some cases, a lot more performance, and exactly the same CPU. So what I think AMD will do by the um, by the info that they gave us, for example, uh, Dr. Lisa Su told us that they will start production in the end of this year. So in the end of 2021, start production of these Ryzen 5000 series with 3D um, 3D cache. Maybe they will call them like the XT versions or something like that. I don't really know. Who knows? But uh, or Ryzen 5000 something 3D, something like that. But basically, uh, we will have that, okay? They will start production by the end of this year, and they will have Zen 4 uh, ready the next year also. So, what I can take from that is that they will first do the refresh with the 3D stack, because it's a lot of performance difference for, in most case, scenarios, okay? And after that, um, more like in the mid of the next year, or maybe in the end of the next year, they will release the Zen 4 CPU. So first we have the refresh with 3D stack, uh, cache, and then this. So, well, that's that's insane. I oh, That's all I can say. Up to 25% performance difference with only cache and 3D stacking with the same exact CPU at the same frequency, same core counts, is insane. So from 2017 with 16 megabytes of cache to like, 200 almost 200 megabytes of cash incredible so guys that's all for today's video which is actually the second video of today i'm a vida loca now <laughs> so thanks a lot for watching don't forget hit like subscribe and share this video leave in the comment section your opinions about this because i really want to know and all the fanboys want to know and see you in the next video